Construction projects involve hundreds or potentially thousands of people working around each other operating large pieces of plant and equipment, including cranes, concrete pumps and excavators. Large objects are lifted overhead that have the potential to fall and crush workers. Deep excavations may be required to build new foundations or install underground services. Excavations can collapse while people are working in them or unknown gas and electricity pipes can be struck that have the potential to explode and release dangerous stored energy. The installation of new energy sources also takes place, requiring working around live energy sources that introduce the risk of individuals being shocked or electrocuted. Construction projects are dangerous. There is no way around this. Through the course of a project, high-risk activities take place, and we need a way of protecting the people doing the works. The only way to eliminate all risk is to cancel the project. Let's examine some statistics around workplace health and safety from Safe Work Australia, which is an Australian government statutory agency whose primary responsibility to improve workplace health and safety across Australia. In 2020, there were 36 fatalities in the construction industry in Australia. That's 36 families who lost a loved one in accidents on construction sites, almost one per week. But almost more shocking than this is that there were 15,567 serious incidents. A serious incident is defined as an injury or illness requiring somebody to take more than a week off work. These incidents include burns, fractures, and lacerations. I've seen the impact of this firsthand. A close friend of mine is a carpenter and was working under an excavator when the bucket fell off and crushed his leg. While he was incredibly lucky not to be killed, it has taken years for his leg to heal and severely impacted his life. As construction managers, it is our job to manage these risks and make sure everybody gets home safely. No job is important enough that it justifies ruining somebody's life with a debilitating injury or killing them. Construction health and safety management consists of the process we will use to minimize the risk of harm while completing the project. The goal is to avoid anybody getting injured or killed through the completion of the project by ensuring all activities are properly managed and the critical risks are controlled. Something I'd like you to keep in the forefront of your mind as we go through this course is that this topic is distinctly different to the other construction management topics we talk about. As construction managers, to excel at our job, we need to ensure projects are delivered under budget and ahead of schedule. These are metrics for success in our job roles. However, health and safety management is different. It is an ethical responsibility that we bear to ensure nobody gets hurt throughout the delivery of a project. We owe it to every person working on our projects that we can provide them a safe workplace and protect them from harm.